I'd just like the 12 o'clock whistle with your Jerry. It ain't everyone can have a job like him. A person that trade across the avenue to the switch. Because the law says the train can't move no faster than Jerry's horse. And the safety of the public depending on him. <laughs> Why don't you put some music to it? Make a song. <laughs> Jerry! Jerry! Hi, Nora. Go straight home tonight. Don't be stopping around that pool room. I can't hear a thing. I can't hear you. Come, Come straight, straight home. home tonight. Don't be stopping in the pool room. I can't hear a thing. Don't go into the pool room. Come straight home tonight. Don't go into the pool room. Come straight home tonight. Hey, Jerry, I got a sure thing for you in a first race today. Yeah? He don't need no tips. He's got a horse already. <laughs> you don't call that thing a horse, do you? <laughs> Mary. Mary! Hi, Mary. See you tonight, Mary? Yeah, I guess so. We'll go to the Palisades and dance. Yeah. And eat hot dogs and shoot ducks. Well, what's the matter with you? Ain't that what we always do? Yes, Jerry. Sure. <laughs> Away from that hey, you! Where do you think you're going? Hey, your boss is calling. You're blocking the street. Ah, oh, let him wait. Hey, you on the horse. I am in a hurry. Are you talking to me? Yes. Hey! You get back over there and face that train! Uh, quit waving that red flag in my face, Bruce. You're I'll call the cops. Well, you come on back over here or I'll fire you. Get that clock, Mary, with a dance at you. Come on, get out of here. You are Mary. And uh, who was the man on the horse? Who's asking questions? I am. Oh, I see. Mr. Big, huh? Mr. Very Big. Come to see how this half of the world lives, huh? Mm hmm. Save yourself, mister. We're born and we die. Just like you. We got kids, we got drunks. Just like you. Say, do you know something? We got everything you got. Now, if you'll excuse me, it ain't my day for receiving callers. <coughs> You're right. You got everything. Mary! Yeah? When you threw the wash and dressed the kids and finished the dishes, and today's the day for the garbage, and Pop wants you to go to the corner from bus, the bus. Well, um, I got a few things to do. Wait a minute. I've got to get this horse on a Frisco boat now. But I'll be back to show you how the other half lives. Fine. There you are, little Mary. That's a real eight dollar a quart pub drink. You really mean you pay eight dollars for that? If you like it, you can bathe in it. Oh, what would I use for soap? I need a windshield wiper. <laughs> Go on and drink it. It will make your heart sing. Madison. Good evening, Colonel. Hello, Madison. Good evening, Mr. Arnold. That's Colonel Frederick Madison. Owns one of the biggest racing stables in the country. Top society. She's 
She must be. What? The gal. That's his daughter. Gee, she's a knockout. I mean, she's beautiful. Why not? She's got what it takes. Just imagine how any woman would look in those things. Furs and jewels. Six months rest for her hands. Mm -hmm. I get it. I'm afraid you don't. I had no intention of offering you anything but, but a job. A job? Oh. Disappointed? Come to take you home. Come on, take your stuff and let's get going. You had a date with me tonight. I suppose you forgot that. I suppose you forgot we got a date every Saturday night, huh? Well, I ain't forgotten. That's why I'm here. Come on, you're going with me. And nobody ain't gonna stop me, neither. Just like to see anybody try it. That's all. I'm sorry. I'd better go. Goodbye. <laughs> I thought cavemen were extinct. You're thinking of volcanoes, dear. Perhaps I am. A uh, fool kid like that who gets nervous and uh, shoots. Yeah, I think he's hopped up. Mary! Listen, what's the matter with you? What's wrong? Will you listen to me? Now, will you listen? Oh, I'm sorry. I hit you, Jerry. Never mind. Mary, why did you go there? Well, I... Isn't it beautiful tonight, Jerry? All the lights and the colors and, and the shop windows. With all the things in them you ever dreamed of having. Huh, if that's what you've been wanting, why don't you say so? Fancy me forgetting to mention it. No harm done. Which one do you like? Well, now, if you insist, I'll take uh, that one. That one it is. <laughs> Come on. Let's go back where we belong. Good night, Jerry. Oh, Mary. Mary, will you sit on the dock with me for a while? Look, there, there's the excursion boat. Did you hear the band playing? I wish we was on it. Well, here tonight, ain't it? Yeah, I'll swell. Better like this in Europe. Where the big shots go, you know, where the dukes and duchesses ride around in them gondolas. Oh, and... you mean Venice. Yeah, Venice. I bet they got moonlight there every night in the week. Yeah. Can I say something, Mary? I never heard you keep quiet. You got me buffalo tonight. You know, last week you was a kid on the block. Tonight, I don't know, I, I never imagined seeing you in a dump like the, like the Club Rio. What's the matter with my being there? All right, if you was with me, Mary. I don't know how to talk to you. Something's different. I, I don't know. Maybe if your nose was running. Oh, all right. I suppose it was. Then I'd ask you to marry me. <laughs> oh, don't laugh at me, Mary. I've been feeling all night like somebody stepped on me inside. Oh, I'm not laughing at you, Jerry. I was just laughing because I'm kind of happy. I'm going to keep you happy, too. I'm going to get a job with real pay. Jerry, will you really try and work steady for a change? Sure. Soon I'll be making enough so we can move away from here. Yeah. Yeah, if we could save something each week. You'll have the best that money can buy. A swell apartment. Well, maybe we could have the kind that, you know, they, they build on top of a roof. Sure, if that's what you want. And then maybe we could go to Europe on one of them big liners that come up the river. Wait, think of it, Jerry. You and me going to Europe together. Oh, darling, if you'd only marry me, I could do anything. 
The sky's the limit. I, I get you champagne by the bucket, and we go to Venice, and you'd be Queen America. Huh? Maybe we could move out of the breeze. Well, Mary, what is it? Oh, you're crying. Oh, Mary, did I stick my foot in it again? What's the matter? Oh, stop dreaming. There's the Venice we'll get. 11th Avenue cherry blossoms. Smell them. Oh, sure, I'll marry you. We could both sit here in the summertime and watch our kids swimming in that soup. Oh, Mary, don't cry. I can't stand seeing you. And what do you think you're doing? Well, what does it look like we're doing? One of them fresh guys, eh? You're on private property. And as for what you're doing, well, come on, get going. I'm going home. Mary. Do you think a cop like that would put his snoot in Moir Arno's face? And the said Jerry Flynn has from time to time been consorting with known criminals, gamblers, and former bootleggers. He has held odd jobs from which he has inevitably been discharged for brawling and breach of the peace. Jerry Flynn, this is a serious charge against you. Yes, sir. Assaulting an officer of the law? Yes, sir. Haven't you any respect for that uniform? There's only a man in that uniform. My boy, that uniform represents a thousand years of human effort toward civilization. It represents society's attempt to make the weak equal to the strong and the ruthless. It rep Why don't you tell it to that flatfoot there? <laughs> Silence in this court. Must you always be speaking out of turn, you blatherskite? Jerry, the law says that I can sentence you to three years in the penitentiary. Three years. Now, do you think your temper would cool off in that time? Oh, Your Honor, may I speak to the lad? What did you want to say? Your Honor, I've been a scrub woman all my life, on my hands and knees, like a camel. And bending over the wash pail like that, well, you know, Your Honor, my own two children was born dead. And then my poor husband's time came, and I was alone. And then Father O'Malley, God's blessing on his head, brought Jerry to me. And, Your Honor, Jerry was so small, his reverence carried him in his overcoat pocket. Didn't he? And look at him now, Your Honor, so young and big and handsome and... Uh, Maybe with a dash of your own temper, huh? and a blood on fire, and a mountain in love, as he should be. Now, Your Honor, excuse me for talking this much. Go on. Maybe you never think, Your Honor, you were so famous and rich. What the poor children to do in New York when they're in love? Where are they to do their kissing? If it ain't in the park, or maybe the railway station just letting them to be saying goodbye to each other. <laughs> and that's all, Your Honor. Only maybe that's why Jerry smacked the cop. Being young and hot-blooded and in love. And, and he's all my children rolled in one, Your Honor. And he's all I have to love in this world these days. And so maybe, Judge, <laughs> maybe you'd excuse him. You may sit down. Jerry, what have you to say? Nothing. What are you sniffling for? I thought you were so tough. Who, me? I'm not sniffling. No, a woman shouldn't talk like that. Well, how should she talk? I don't know. Call me out. You can handle people who ball you out, can't you? Yes. How about people who don't? I guess I'm a heel. Mrs. Flynn? Uh, where do you work? I'm in the newspaper business, Your Honor. I scrub floors at the New York Globe office. Well, pretty good business. Aren't there some street corners where Jerry could start in the uh, newspaper business? Oh, yes, sir. There's a legitimate job for you, Jerry. It's a tough one. It's hard to make honesty pay. Harder than brawling or knocking down policemen. Next case. Sun, Telly, Journal, Gazette, read all about it, paper. 
Hiya, boys. Sports final complete. Hey, Got a sure thing for you in a second race tomorrow. Yanks lose, Dodgers top reds. What about a couple of bucks state? Maybe we can get the National City Bank to advance you four bits each. Oh, paper lady. Listen, Jerry, have a heart, will you? We've been living off the chewing gum machine. Yeah, and I got holes in me pocket digging for tobacco crumbs. Say, listen, you mugs, maybe I could use a few of your birds to help me expand my business. You mean sell the papers? Get subscriptions and win an egg. All right, I'm giving you a chance to make some dough legitimate. Now watch me. Harvard wins, read all about it. Sports final complete. Harvard wins, read all about it. Sports final complete. Say, you, what do you mean, Harvard wins? Well, there it is right there, mister. You want me to read it to you? <laughs> I get it. War declared here. War. Read about the war. Yes, sir. War here. War here. Yes, sir. Read about the war. Read about... Where's the war? Police declare war on traffic violators, lady. Uh, <laughs> now, you see, what did I tell you? Why not make Joe legitimate? Hey, this don't sound bad. Ah, uh, this is a sissy's racket. It's a tough job making honesty pay, mister. I tried it once. Selling vacuum cleaners. But my mug scared the customers off. Well, I left you with a pen like yours. You ought to scare them into buying. Uh, sure, make them think they're buying cheap life insurance. Go ahead. Want a paper, mister? No, thanks. You want a paper. I, I want a paper. Hey, keep it legitimate. Paper, hold up. Paper, hold up. Paper, hold up. Here, paper. Hey, hey, let's go. Paper, paper, on our new deferred payment plan, there would be uh, $5 down and 50 cents a week. That's not bad. Well, you'd have it all paid for in just uh, 90 weeks. OK. At these eyes, you should see me own daughter leaving the threshold. After all I've done for you. And what have you ever done for her? Every job she's ever had, you've queered with your booze. And... Every dollar she's ever made, you've washed it down your throat. You're turning again me, too. Everybody is again me. Me that kept the roof over your head. Me that has only half a kidney in me body. Who is it? It's me, Jerry. Uh, Marty, children, come along. Come on. Are you going to sit there and make a circus out of yourself in front of him? Here, I got this. Evening, Mary. Did you hear him? Hmm? Oh, usual Saturday night stew, huh? Well, never mind, I got plenty to tell you. I got things to tell you, Jerry. Yeah, but first give me your hand. Listen. Turn your head away. Don't be so nervous. Jerry, I decided that I got to get away from here. And so you will, with me. You make it so tough, Jerry. Well, what's the matter? You never say anything about that. Yeah, yeah, it's swell, but... Remember how you admired him that night in the window? You shouldn't have bought it. <laughs> I'm going to buy you the earth and everything on it. Oh, Mary, for you. Well, the sky's the limit. Of course... I'm not making much now, but it's a start towards all them things we talked about. You've had jobs before. Yeah, I know. Too. Jerry. What? I'm leaving here. Well, sure you are. And I'm leaving you. What are you talking about? I'm getting out of here. Where are you going? I told you where I'm going. I'm getting out of here. Wait a minute. Step on that horn. So that's the ticket. Well, I suppose maybe you think you got something better at all. Like what my old man gave her. A house full of kids and a dump like this to bring them up in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. We're different. We're in love. But so were they. Don't you see? So were they. But uh, that night on the dock, all the plans were made. And... Yeah. And what'd you do? 
slugged a cop and, and got pulled in for it. And that's the way it's always been. You're talking about what a great guy you are and never doing nothing to back it up. And me listening, trying to believe, thinking that maybe next time things would be different. Well, I know now. This is where you live and this is where you'll always live. You're on 11th Avenue. Well, maybe that's heaven for you, but not for me. It's your master's voice. Jerry. Jerry, maybe. Well, what are you waiting for? You want me to carry your bag? I'll read all about it. Oh, paper. Paper. How you doing, pussy? Swell. Fifty tellies, fifty journals, thirty sons. What's the matter with the gazettes? Well, get going on them anyway. We've got a double to take. Right. Go read the paper there. How's the take, Lefty? Everything's okay but them gazettes. The circulating guy was around here complaining. He's complaining. Well, I'd like to tell him a few things about that sheet. Yeah, but maybe they wouldn't listen. Oh, wouldn't they? Let him get your paper here, folks. As owner of the Gazette, Cop. What is the meaning of this? I'm Flynn of Flynn Distributing Enterprise. I'm sorry, Mr. Say Oliver, that. but this goof pushed right through my office. Says he wants to tell us what's wrong with our paper. Come on, you. Wait a minute. You the owner of this rag? No, he is. I'm only the managing editor. Well, I've built up a big business, see? And it's going to be bigger. But handling your paper doesn't help it any. Suppose you tell us what's wrong with our sheet, Mr. Flynn. Sure. Can you take it? Why not? At present, it's so respectable, it smells. Now, Mr. Jukes, what's your circulation? Oh, roughly about uh, 300,000 in the East River. I beg your pardon? That's where they chop them. Well, I've got a proposition. Let this guy turn loose and talk dough to me, and I'll guarantee you over a million in a year. How? Murder a day with a woman in. Well, what's the public interested in? Stuff shirts in trouble. Beautiful girls in trouble. Hangings, fire, and legs. But what about the moral tone of the paper? Uh, run a sermon every Saturday. Well, can you do it? I can print it in blood if they'll let me. What do you want? A dollar a month for every copy I add to your present circulation. What do you say, Mr. Polliver? Well, if Mr. Flynn shows us he can increase the sale of the paper, then we can talk about a contract. You speculate, Flynn? What do you say, Lockjaw? These kids pay the hospital bills? Now, Mr. Jukes, about this sermon every Saturday, I think we should... Lockjaw, I want you to round up all the out-of-work mugs you can lay your hands on. Yeah? We're going to spread out all over town. Gee. your credit to, uh, shall we say, uh, $60,000. Office equipment? At once, Mr. Flynn. Gladly, Mr. Flynn, if you'll just sign for it. And where shall we deliver them? Certainly, Mr. Flynn, the fastest motor trucks on the market. Yeah, this is Flynn. Oh, 
Okay, me on the dough. Send the papers up to my office. Here. Hello. Hello. Oh. Yeah. She can't come without her sister. What's her sister look like? Okay, bring them both up. Uh. What's that? But then you fuck it up, Monsieur. So long to me. Uh, the truth. Oh, give me the lowdown, will you? Be see the door over, Monsieur. It's like fish to me. Jerry, you got the ferry terminal. Yeah, what's the rent? Okay, it's a deal. It's a thing. Yeah, tell her to come. She ain't got club feet. Have you got club feet? <laughs> Hello, Hiya, Jerry. Jerry. Name for them. Oh, where's the bar? That's an idea, baby. Come on. Jerry, this is Peggy, this is Dolly, know? and this is me. Dear Jerry, how do you do? Okay. Swell joint you have here. Very distinguished. Say, how about a dance, big boy? Oh, but this is ours, isn't it? Hey, wait a minute. You're with me. Say, how about you and I, baby? I'd rather eat. I bet you get lonesome sometimes. What makes you think so? Oh, all those beautiful things in there and nobody to share them with you. I bet you could be awfully sweet to a girl, Mr. Lonesome. Tell you, where do you get that lonesome stuff? Haven't I got everything up here? Look down there. Fifty stories up above those mugs. On the top of the world. Yeah, sure. You're wonderful. Oh, Mr. Flynn. Uh, Pomelli is my name. Marshall T. Pomelli. Hey, how'd you get in here? Yeah, I come to collect on the wristwatch. I've been trying to see you for 40 weeks. And if I don't collect, they'll fire me. Forty weeks, huh? It's okay. Here. Thank you. God bless you. Here's your receipt. Good night, Mr. Flynn. Thank you. Come on, Mr. Flynn, join the party. What are you so sad about, sugar? Poor little rich boy got troubles. How can a guy have troubles in a joint like this? Baloney. Maybe he's got spiritual trouble. Yeah, well, run along inside, will you? No, really? Run along. You too. Medicine. What's he doing to keep up the front? He's doing it on me. I have enough personal notes of his to take his house, his horses, uh, his mustache, if he had one. Look, if they don't stop playing that music, I'm going to throw that at the guy who's waving the stick. Yes, mademoiselle. Listen, Gilmore, get this and get it straight. You boys have got to pay off on a long shot once a week so I can advertise him and keep them putting their money on the line. When you hear the tune... Oh, uh, waiter. Yes, Mr. Arno. Don't you see the lady's glass is empty? Who am I? Am I still here? I am sorry, Mr. Arno. Well, why don't you dance, man? Oh, I ain't got the time. Say, can't you get him to change that music? You are taking life too serious. I only got one. Yes, but you've got everything, everything you want, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, I got everything. Everything I want. Say, ain't it the truth? Cheer up, kid. You're sitting pretty. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I'm sitting pretty. I got rings on my fingers and bells in my... Oh, I got bells in my head! Well, take me out of this dump, will you? Take me out! I told you to stop playing that music! One more drink before we go. Ah, uh, come on, you had enough. Good night, Toots. Good night. Say good, good night to the boss. I will. Easy, lad. Take your coat off. You know her. The 
waste of money giving it to you. Why don't you use it? Get yourself a fine house. Servants. Servants. Now, what would the likes of me be doing with servants? <laughs> no, Jerry. This is my home. And yours, too, whenever you need it, lad. I could fix you up swell in my penthouse. May I break my foot if ever I cross your threshold while the perfumed water and sinful women smells it up. Your work day is seen to your own. Your Sundays you'll spend here with me. Yes, Nora. You're very successful, aren't you, Ed? It's like magic, Nora. I got the town by the ears. You've got everything you want. Oh, you know me. The sky's the limit. And that's the way I like to hear you talk. <laughs> yeah. Are you still grieving about her? Oh, I'm not even thinking about her. Well, she's nothing in my life. Nothing. Why are all those racing news? First race coming down. Get your red hot tip. Why are all those racing news here? Get your red hot tip, sir. Why are all those racing news? Get your red hot tip. Get yourself ready to clean up a fortune, everybody. Oh, my Jerry put a bet on an itty bitty horse for his little dolly. Sure, kid, name your nag. Sky's the limit. Oh, I want to bet on the horse that's going to win. Does who want to make a teensy weensy bet, Snookums? I want to bet on the jockey in the pink shirt. Oh, ho, pinky pie. Yes, yes, and I would too. Oh, uh, better get going with that champagne, Lefty. All right, Jerry. Anything else you want, baby? Remember, nothing's too good for you. Sit down on top hats all day long. Oh, it must make you proud all this by yourself. Mm-hmm. By myself. Well, not quite. What do you mean? Oh, there's Nora, for instance. Yes, there's Nora. It was a nice night, Jerry. I'm glad you gave it to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you looking at? Take a squint down there. Mary. I think I'll be going. I don't belong here. Where do you belong then? It's been so long. To me? What is there to talk about? Us? What is there to say? What do you want, Jerry? 
I don't know. Oh, Mary, I... It's a hard out there, Jerry. Did you... Did you do that to him? Do what? Stroke his hair. Oh. Did you? But that's all over now, Jerry. Well, why do you stall? Did you tell him that you loved him? No. No. Well, when did he first kiss you? Jerry, will you quit torturing yourself? Quit torturing you, you mean? Well, it doesn't matter about me. That's all that does matter. His hands are on you. I can see his kiss on your lips. Will you stop? You know what you're doing and what you're saying. I know what I'm saying. I know what I want to say and what I want to do. I want to take you in my arms and kiss you and tell you that I love you. But all the time the face of that man comes in. His face. And it'll always be there. Crush it out like something you can step on. Come on in, bring the rest of the boys with you. I'm starting a racetrack tip sheet. Tip sheet? And this is the layout I want. We're out 20 grand already, and that's only the first race. Number five, Jeff. Who won the last race? Uh, Claude K. Well, that's uh, two we picked. Gary Pencil. Two in a row for him. Yeah. Well, what are you going to do about it? Just give orders to have his crowd thrown out. Jerry, I'm afraid. Ah. Jerry, where's horse then? Hey, I'll get your red hot chip. Hey, what's the idea? This broadcast is coming to you from the courtesy of the new Jerry Flynn racing paper, Horse Sense. Daily news. Oh, I beg your pardon. Hey, Look, it's a fight. Fight, fight. Fight, right, gang it up on it. Let's go. Yes, yeah, let's go. Over the fence. Have enough? Right, come on. Cut it out. Flynn hasn't got a man left on the track. Good. Yeah, have a scotch and soda, please. Uh -oh. Arno? 
I want to talk to you. Have a drink. No, thanks. I'm not in the mood. You got a gun? I'll get one when I need it. Put your hand down, Charlie. Your hoodlums have been beating up my newsboys. There's been a sign on these tracks for the last ten years. It says, keep off. Yeah, well, we're taking that sign down, see? Beginning today. In other words, you are prepared to fight the entire racing syndicate, as well as uh, all the other companies in which I have a controlling interest. Have a drink, Mr. Flynn. Perhaps it will help you to collect your thoughts. See what my friend, Mr. Flynn, will have. Okay, but this one's on me. Champagne. Right there. Allow me this time. What will it be? Right there. And a fight if you want it. I guess you can have both. Jerry! A bit of warning. We get exclusive news from these tracks. I should advise you to keep your men away from the morning trials. It would be a great pity if anything happened to you, Mr. Flynn. I'll be seeing you in the morning. Um, double right there. Come on, open up, will you? I'm working this horse out for the Madison stable. Yes. Okay. Just a minute. What do you think you're going... Oh, I beg your pardon, Mr. Arno. I didn't recognize you. It's all right. What's been doing? I ain't seen the height of any of Flynn's mob. You got all the gates watched? Sure. They couldn't squeeze in here with a shoehorn, Mr. Arno. Good for you. Here's the fin. You boys know what to do if they show up. Thanks, Mr. Arno. Open the gates! What is the matter with you men? Sorry, who's coach? Sir, this is Colonel Willoughby Jackson Hathaway of Churchill Downs and Party to witness the moan and workouts. Okay. Who did he say he was? Colonel Hathaway of Churchill Downs. They're gonna run that Madison horse, boss, as soon as it gets a little lighter. Get the ladder and throw them out. Okay, as far as we've gone. Oh, if you ask me, we've gone too far already. Look at me. Oh, quit talking like a bass drum, will you? Yeah, Colonel. Hey, you up there. Get ready to clock the nags. They'll be running as soon as it's daylight. Look, look. They got one of our mouth. Come on. Put him down and Come throw on. him out. Why? They... Come back here. What's the matter with you? We got to keep on the cover. Do you want a massacre? That guy around has got half his mouth spread around the track. Well, phone Lefty and tell him to bring boys from the distribution gang. Are you going, Daffy? Now, we're in the newspaper rack and you're trying to put in a racing rack. That guy around will chop you up six ways. Lock jaw, I'm not kidding. I walk to a phone. <sighs> walk like a woman. Like this? Yeah. Jay. Just a minute, Nettie. I'm going. Just a minute. <laughs> well, what do you want here? Take your hand off that door and get out with you. Nora. <laughs> Don't you be naughty, me. What's the likes of you doing in this house of a Sunday? It's about Jerry. Jerry? What about him? Oh, don't look at me like that. I love him just as much as you do. Oh, come in. And don't be standing there telling the neighbors your business. What's the matter with Jerry? Oh, he's in an awful spot, Nora. He's been fighting Wire Arno, and, and now there's going to be trouble. we got to get to him. He was the death of me, that lad. I never know what he's got to. Stop crying, Mary. I'm sorry for you, kid. You've been kicked about, haven't you? Well, come on, let's get to that hoodlum. He's nothing else. 
And when I get him, I'll break every bone in his body. Boy, that's going some. Eight furlongs and one forty. That's speed, Orville. Yes, and the streamline sure is a winner. <laughs> Time on that medicine horse, a mile in 140. Right. Did you get that inside there? The time on the medicine horse is a mile in 140. Colonel Hathaway. Oh! Hey! Hold the sky so you can't squeal. <laughs> Why, it's your little runner all ripped their tongue out. Oh! It's a woman! <laughs> it's a man! Jerry! They're after us! Get out on the track and run them down! Chain, so they can't get out. Okay. Where's the gang, Lockjaw? They're coming. I'm going to tear you apart for this, Lockjaw. He pulled, Jerry. Hey, blow that horn. Roughnecks on that coach. yours blacks up. Oh. You play rough, don't you? Hey, what's your name, babe? Connie. Where do you live? Oh, not far. So you're Colonel Hathaway of Churchill Downs, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Go on, our Churchill Downs in the North River. <laughs> I like your coach, Colonel. Won't you drive me home? He's gone, but not forgotten.
Oh, hello, Mary. What are you doing here? Well, I didn't hear from you all day, and I... All you pay is five dollars down. Won't you stop into it? What you been doing? I've been with Nora. Mm. How is she? Oh, fine. She said to thank you for the checks. Okay. Well, what you been doing? Well, Nora and I, we went to church. Oh, yeah. Today's Sunday. I mean yesterday. So you and Nora went to church, huh? What's on your mind, Jerry? It's on my mind? Nothing. What should be on my mind? Well, I thought that maybe if something was bothering you, I could fix it up. What's the idea of being so sweet like a mouse suddenly? Well, listen, if you need a quarrel to get it out... I don't need fancy reasons to say what I want to say. Maybe you're waiting for me to explain where I've been, is that it? Well, you see, I thought maybe you'd been hurt, Jerry. Why didn't you call your friend Wire Arno and find out? Maybe he'd have bumped me off. You could have... could have gone back to him. Who is she? Who is she? Well, that's easy. She's everything you're not. Is that enough, or do you want me to go on? I want you to go on. I've been as decent with you as I could have. I tried to forget that night that you walked out with that mug's horn blowing in my face. I'll write you out tickets for any amount you say. But that's all. I can't stand it any longer. You'll write me out tickets for any amount, I say. Well, I know what I've been and what I've done, but I'll take my hat off to you. You've really even the score. I'd give you back all I got on if I could. I won't be leaving those. Honey, I was just on my way to your place. Oh, there's no hurry. <laughs> Cozy little place you have here. Yeah. But your guests, won't they be waiting? Idea. Oh, it's just an old custom. It means that you owe me whatever I choose to claim. Drink? To us. To? Say, do you mean that? Look, Connie, would you marry me? Not the office working. Well, it ain't fashionable no more. All right, Lock Joe, what's on your mind? Listen, Jerry, since you've been running around with that Madison dame, maybe you don't realize how much this racing racket is costing you. Now, we're in the red for plenty. You got three notes coming to you. You got the press and liner type gang hollering for their dough. You got a payroll coming up that you can't meet, and you got 15 of your boys knocked off by wire on and they're in the hospital. Who's going to pay them doctor bills? Cut the payroll. Well, it looks like me voice, Lockjaw. Wait a minute, Squippy. I'll go with you. Yeah, and you can count me in. You going too, Lockjaw? Yeah. I ain't leaving you. But I'm warning you, if you don't get down to business and quit fooling around with this dame, why around's gonna have you right back where you started from? If you're so worried about the business, why don't you get down to the office and keep things going?
Yeah. Who was it? Now, listen, Mr. Sampson, you've got to be reasonable. Mr. Flynn will have to meet his payments or we'll be forced to uh, take action. Hello? I'm canceling Flynn's contract. Yeah, huh? Well, listen, you do that and we'll wreck you. Baloney! Baloney! Jerry, we have fun together, don't we? Yeah. Oh, then don't spoil it. Connie, I'm... I'm asking you to marry me. Listen, Jerry, I like you. I like you the way I'd like a, a strong wind on a sailboat. But when I've had enough of that, I want to go back to my own things, my own people. Yeah, I see them. A lot of pink ladies running around in men's pants. That's right. What you call hand kisses. I'm not good enough for you, is that it? Oh, Jerry, do I have to explain you to yourself? You're running around like a wild fire engine because you're in love with this Mary Stevens. Don't tell me who I'm in love with. She's a, a heel. I, I told you that. <laughs> Do you think only 11th Avenue produces heels? What's the point? Oh, please. Let's not argue any longer. So you think I'm a mug, huh? Think I belong back with... Back with the girl you love. And who can hold her own with you? Oh, I'd like to... That's a ring her neck. Unless you do, I, I'd like to drive in there, please. Hey, me, darling. <laughs> That's frightening the way you women understand one another. I'm sorry, Jerry. I don't know what it's all about, I guess. It's, it's as if the, the band stopped playing. <laughs> oh, Connie. Welcome back to the fold, darling. Hello, Nora. Uh, this is me. I I'm phoning about Jerry. Now, what's the matter with him? Tell me the truth. Now, listen, don't jump off the side. I'm just phoning to find out where he is. I don't know. Why, hello, Nora. Hey, what's the matter? I'm ashamed of my witness. Something's happened to Jerry. The lad's lost himself. He'll be needing you now, Mary. Oh, there ain't nothing I can do for him. Mary, you and me's all he's got. And this money that he gave me. Oh, so that's what he needs. Mary, will you go to him? Why should I? He's got others. We can't stop loving. Neither you nor me. We've got to go on loving. All our lives. What do you want me to do? He'll be needing the both of us. But he has a man's pride and he'll never be coming to us. We've got to go to him. Yeah. we got to go to him. Miss Stevens? Yeah. Miss Stevens, I'm in desperate trouble. I need Jerry's help. You need his help? Well, he needs help. That's why we're here. Look around you. Don't you see they've taken everything he's got? Everything. I... I didn't know. Oh, haven't you done enough? What'd you have to come here for? Why, tonight of all times. You do love him, don't you? 
What's that got to do with you? Miss Stevens, I know how you must feel about me. You think I'm responsible for what's happened to Jerry. Well, we've lost everything, too. My father owns a racing stable. Or rather, he did. He borrowed money from Wire Arno, and Arno took over the stables. Now he's planning to run a substitute horse in place of the favorite in tomorrow's race. Yeah, I know the trick. Go on. Well, the horse will run in our name, and thousands of people will lose money on it. Don't you see what this means to me? My father... My father will go to prison. Oh. And you want Jerry to stop the frame-up. Who wants... Who wants Jerry? What? What's going on? Who's talking about? Jerry. Oh, so it's you. Well, what do you want? You want Sloven again? You see her? That's Connie. Connie Madison. She's made of silk and platinum. Too good for Death Avenue, guys. Well, what do you want now? You changed your mind and want to marry me? Oh, well... I want to marry the great Connie Madison. Yeah. Well, let me tell you something. I'm just a death ever to hooligan. Jerry! Yeah, with no class. Don't know how to eat my soup. So, what? for me. But how can you help? Oh, never mind how. A little while ago, you said that I loved Jerry. Well, that's true. I love him so much that I want him to be happy. And that's where you come in, see? you got to make him happy. I had a crack at it, but, but I hurt him. Because I'm nothing but a... That doesn't matter now. Say, maybe sometime when you ain't got nothing better to do, would you tell him that I... Just tell him that I thought he was tops. Okay? Okay. Pull yourself together. See, you can take all that money you gave me. I never spent a cent of it. And start all over again. Mary! 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 Jerry! Jerry, you've got to stop her. Jerry, please! Stop who? Where? Why, Mary. Go on. My little man. Hello, Wyatt. Hello. Sit down. But uh, what about Mr. Jerry Flynn? How would you like a night off, boys? Oh, thanks, Wyatt. Sure. So long, Mary. Sit down. How about a good old drink, eh? Well, just for old times. Keep that grin on your face. Yes, Mr. Arnold. What do you want, Mary? Champagne. We oui, madame. Mary, I don't... I... I swear, if you don't shut up, I'll kill you without another word. I... 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 Listen I... and don't talk. I came here tonight to worship two no-good people, you and me. Shoot me. Only get the chair, and I tell you. Shut I... up. I won't get the chair. Because after I shoot you, I'll shoot myself. You're running a phony horse tomorrow that'll send Madison to jail. 
while you sit by and clean up on the suckers. Well, that ain't the way it's gonna be, see? Hand over them IOUs. Hand them over, and you can walk out. Mary! Oh, sit down. Mary, give me that gun. Let me handle this. Listen, Jerry, I'm running this. Light a match. Burn those papers before I shoot this guy. Lynn, take the gun away from her. Yeah, I. Mary. Mary. Mary, this this is my dance. Oh, please, Jerry, I can hardly stand up. I know. I'm gonna hold you from now on. Oh, Mary, look. <laughs> no. It's not even a man, it's, it's a shadow. Oh, I knew I was gonna do that because you love me. What difference does that make now? Doesn't it make any difference that I know how much I, I love you? Doesn't it, Mary? Oh, I know I, the prize package I used to think I was. I got all of that. I know what a sap I've been. Maybe if, if you was willing, we could borrow that money from Nora and start over again. Maybe if I told the mugs what a heel I've been, they'd, they'd come back. Of course, they know there isn't another guy in the city who knows a circulation game like me. Well, I'd get every newspaper in town. I'd spread a chain across the entire country. Oh, Mary, darling, if you'd marry me. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. This guy's the limit. <laughs>